guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, as you can see from the title, I am doing a McDonald's mukbang but I also have a cheeky bit of a Starbucks going on here. Um, it's a little bit disappointing to what it looks like right now but when it first came it looked amazing. It's the sorted caramel cheesecake frappuccino but I'll go into that more when I um, can get onto it because it's icy and it's dripping and it's... Ugh. Before we get into this video, I just want to mention this because this amazing watch brand sent me something incredible obviously it's a watch but it's still incredible basically they just reached out to me via my business email which if you want to send me something for me to review I'm more than happy link link my email is in the description so holla at me seriously though like i love collaborating with brands um i only collaborate with ones that i feel are good and feel like if i like them and i wear a watch every day why wouldn't i say no plus this is two years old i need an upgrade and tell me now this what you're about to find out is an upgrade so before i actually go into showing you the watch and opening it i haven't even looked at it myself the package has been opened but that's because um john thought the package was his so he opened it and i was like okay thank you babe thank you ruined the whole unboxing thing but i haven't actually looked in the box so it's gonna be a first impressions for both first impressions first impressions for both of us i'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the brand first though just so you get a vibe and if you feel it then head over the links will be down in the description for you <laughs> so the designer of these brands is called jacob wagner he is from copenhagen copenhagen in denmark and he designs these watches around the country the copenhagen city that's what i'm trying to get at so there's three different type of watches there's philosopher there's infinity and there's native and i have a native with these watches you actually get three like you can buy three interchangeable straps so there's lots of like different colored leather ones and there's also some metallic metal mesh kind of ones i have i've got the mesh one um i don't know what it looks like like in person i don't know what it feels like so yeah i can't really tell you right now but i will a little bit later on um but yeah so the leather is actually italian leather so it's good quality and you're paying for what you get really so so there's a few different size options it varies from 32 millimeters to 40 millimeters and that is the width of the strap so it kind of it's like personal preference i guess Whatever you want. so they also do this amazing 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 giving back program so every time you buy a watch on the back of your watch is a individual unique serial number kind of thing so you can go on their website type in your code and then you see your organization kind of thing your charity your cause that you're supporting which they support as well and i think that is incredible so get back guys so I'm just going to quickly talk about another brand that they actually own. So it's called B&O, which stands for Bang and Olfersen, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but I really hope I am. Um, and they kind of work work in design, design sound systems, so like headphones, TVs, um, what else is there? Speakers, sound systems really, like things that produce sound. And they, yeah, they also own that company, which I think is amazing, and I'll leave that link to that one down below in case you need some new headphones. Who knows? But yeah, before we actually get into seeing mine, I'm going to quickly talk about mine. So I picked up, well, I didn't pick up. <laughs> I asked for the Native Watch in Silver Mesh because I feel like that relates more to this one because I do love this watch. It's just getting a bit old and a bit scratchy. So um, I wanted one that was kind of sil like silver strap and I love the mesh look. So um, I also got it in a 36mm width thing. And the amazing thing is... My watch arrived in two days. This came from like Denmark and it arrived in two days. I've purchased, I placed my order in on the 30th and it came here by the first. And I was like, my mind is blown, okay? My mind is blown. My address is on both sides of this, so I'm just gonna have to kind of pull it out and wing it. Oh my goodness. So. Did I even mention the brand name? Oh my god, I'm such a bad person. So this brand is called Nord Green. Here's the logo. I love their logo. It's just so simple. Like, it's just so simple. So simple. You're going to see it way before I do, so... Let's hope it's good. I feel like it's not focusing on it. It is focusing. Oh my goodness. I can just see it through the lens. The What's it called? Viewfinder. I don't know what it's called. Oh, I love it already. 
Oh my god, look how simple and nice that is though. We've got so many satisfying pulley off things, guys. You're gonna love me. You also get an identity card, which I think is pretty cool. So it's a certificate of authenticity. I can't say that word. Manual and warranty. I forgot to mention, you also get five years warranty with these watches. That's incredible. I really just want to thank you so much for actually giving me this watch. Like, it is incredible. And I just can't believe it right now. It's so, like, lightweight. I love that. Only certain people appreciate this. So just here, where it says serial, that is your serial number to the cause. And I honestly don't know what cause I've got, but I'm gonna have a look and it's gonna be on the screen somewhere. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I just chipped my nail. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I've literally just got these done. I'm gonna have to file that down. It's okay, we can fix it, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my gosh. How pretty. How cute. Oh my god. Fabulous. I've been talking for 18 minutes about a watch. If that's not dedication, then I don't know what is, guys. So, guys, if there's anything that I would love for you to check out, it's definitely this brand. Anyway, yeah. Here's the brand. Once again. All their links will be down in the description. This link will be down in the description. Let's get in with a mukbang because that's what really you came here for, isn't it? Yes, it is. The light's going a bit dark, but it's making me look. Making the bronzer look like it's doing something, you know. Right, we're gonna start because I've tried McDonald's before, but I've never tried this drink because it's pretty darn new, I think. Starbucks, I love you. This is the caramel cheesecake frappuccino, cream based, with whipped cream. Just gonna stir everything around because it's been a little while since. Oh my god. Mmm. I can taste how unhealthy this is, but it's mm, but it's so good. If there's anything you should get from Starbucks, it's definitely that. That was beautiful. So I quickly messaged a bunch of people on my Snapchat, like, so many questions I'm doing a mukbang. Um I don't know if anyone's got back to me. Right. I need you know what? I just need a chip. Oh, Jesus, Katie, you are going in right now. This claim I'm going to be talking and eating at the same time, so don't hate me because that's what I'm not going in. You're welcome. Okay, let's carry on. Anyway, yeah. Oh, my Jesus, I'm so stupid. I'm going to spill that everywhere. So she asked, when do you want children? I want to be married first. Which relates to another question she asked. Anyway. Yeah, I want to be married first, have my house, just been really prepared but i only want one child but i think because i really want to oh my god i really want a girl i'm so out of shot like we're just gonna have to ignore this lump it's just some clothes that i haven't put away yet so it's fine anyway so yeah i want all of that i only want one girl and if it's a boy first i said i'm trying again because i really want a girl and if i end up with a boy and a girl that's literally perfect like that's everyone's dream isn't it Unless you don't want kids, of course, but at least a boy and a girl, a boy to be older, like me and my brother, perfect, because they get to protect the little one. She also said, when do you want to get married? Um, I want to get, like, get engaged soon. My dear friend said, I want to get engaged first. <laughs> um, and I'm with John. If you don't know who John is, link down below, you should definitely check him out, because he makes some hilarious videos. Um... And I'll also link Kurt's channel down below because Kurt is who John mainly makes videos with at the minute. And they're just so stupid and hilarious. Yeah, but it's just entertaining. Anyway, yeah. So I'm with John. He hasn't asked me yet, but do you know when it's going to come? Let you know when you know. I know. I've already asked him if I could start planning a wedding. He said yes, so. But yeah. Relating to the question, I want to get married in like 2022, 20, maybe so, like four years from now. Like, I don't want a super long engagement, like 10 years, but I don't want a really sort, short one where I get married and then I uh, get engaged and get married like a year later. Like, I want to have that ring and show that little baby off. You also asked my favorite names for babies. 
Well, I really, for a boy, even though I don't want a boy, <laughs> um, I really wanted to call him Teddy. I love that name, and I don't know why. I just think it's so cute. But then John said I couldn't because he didn't like it. Um, no, I swear the other day he told me I actually did like it, so I named my hamster Teddy. Because I was like, oh, well, if I'm not calling my son Teddy, I'll call my bloody hamster Teddy. Um, which, if I do have a boy, I probably will call him Teddy if John still agrees to liking the name because I love that name. And even though I want a girl, I've never really thought of a girl's name. What names do I like? I do know when I do have a child, I want their name to be something unique that not a lot of people have. Like, I a cute, unique name. Anyway, so, Shanice, because I know you're watching, <laughs> she just sent me a message saying, Am I your favourite Scottish ginger? Well, you're the only Scottish ginger I know. So, down to the elimination of that, it's going to be you, babe. What is my favourite Snapchat filter? Mm. Mm. I know. You know the one with the glasses and the freckles and the eyelashes and the leaves and stuff? There's everything. Why did I ask you if you want sauce for 20 chicken nuggets but not 9 or 6? Are you having me on? I don't want dry chicken nuggets. Okay. So. <clears throat> oh my god, this is how stupid I am. I literally said to them. So Rachel's asked, what is your favourite thing to do when you're bored? Honestly, film a video. Or just go for a drive and go shopping. That's mainly what I do, anyway. Um, but if I can't really do any of that, then I'll just like watch YouTube. Some all the problems, you know. She also asked if there's anyone you could collab with. Who would you collab with? Apparently Magum, which she's amazing. She's just hit 20k, which is incredible. Link down below, of course. Uh, and Demi Donnelly. Just hit 60k. What for it? A link in the description. But yeah. So those two girls would be amazing to collab with. Dream job. Apart from being YouTube, just anything like I'm happily stabling in. Stabling, oh god. What's my fave song ever? Probably anything as Ed Sheeran. Any. Oh, us. The fat fries are good for saving your fries. Don't even come for me with that. What's my fave fast food place? I'd probably say Wagamama. That's class as fast food because it is really quick. Would you rather speak fluent in all languages but never travel or travel the world but can't speak any other language apart from English? More than happy to speak any other language apart from England and travel the world because I think just travelling the world is amazing and I speak it so fast right now. I'm really sorry. Bag chips are so much better than chips in the pot. I mean, even though they were in the pot, but... I don't know, it just tastes so much better when they're out the bag. There's so much McDonald's here, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this straight away. This is only a medium meal. What's happening to me? Are you just... See? Fat fries. Do it for me again. This sauce as well, because you don't eat cheese bites with like sweet curry sauce, do you? No. That is not right. So I'll leave these here. And you probably won't want them. And I'll be hungry later. And you'll be like, no, I don't want them. And I'll be like, oh, okay, I won't eat them. Um, I'll leave them this drink as well. I'll probably hate it though. See, John, I'm thinking about you, babes. See, so, yeah, guys, before we end this video, just want to mention this again. Here's my little watch. Here's what it looked like looks like oh it's upside down for you guys that's what it looks like in case you want one i think you should get one because they're beautiful beautiful i might ask the lady if there's a possibility of me getting you guys a discount code do get this discount code for you guys it will be in the description below and i probably would put it on the screen at some point fingers crossed your girl can get you a discount code because i mean we all have a good bargain out here, don't we? We all have a good discount, so... If you guys did enjoy this video, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me down below because we're almost at 2.8k, almost at 3k. Bye. Yeah. I will see you next time with another video. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. Why did I just do that? That's gross. <laughs> okay. I love my life. <laughs> what is my eyeshadow? I'm sorry if that's been annoying, everyone. Also, my makeup's been so bad for this video. Apologies. I'm gonna go now.